Hello everyone, Joseph Buer here coming at you with another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make alphas in Blender that you can use for sculpting. So before we get started, we just need to get a few things set up first. So the first thing we'll want to do is add a camera to our scene. So we'll hit Shift A on our keyboard, come down here to where it says camera, and then we want to zero these properties out. So we want to make sure that the location is set to zero, the rotation is set to zero, and the scale is set to one. And then the only other thing we want to do is make sure that this is one meter off the ground so that when we make our alpha, we can, we'll have the right amount of distance between zero and one since alphas use height data. Okay, and then the next thing we want to do is make sure that the uh, size of your camera is a square. So you're going to go over here to your output properties. And I have my resolution set to 400 right now. So that should be fine for you. Uh, especially if, uh, if you're making anything with a lot of detail, I recommend keeping it around this uh, size. And then the other thing you want to do is uh, come over here to uh, your camera properties, your camera data, and then under type, select orthographic, and then where it says 6, set this to 2. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and hide that for right now in the meantime, and then I'm going to add in a plane. And then I'm going to go into edit mode and subdivide this about 20 times like that. And then I'm going to go in and add a multi-resolution modifier. I'm going to come down here to advance and under uh, where it says a boundary smooth, I'm going to select keep corners. And then I'm just going to go ahead and subdivide this a few times. All right, so that should give us enough geometry to work with. I'm going to be making a fur brush for my alpha, so I'm going to go into sculpt mode, pull up my tools here, and then with uh, the draw brush selected, I'm just going to go ahead and start sculpting out my shape. One thing you want to make sure of is you don't really want any geometry to go below uh, the zero point. So as much as I can help it, I'm going to try and not use any creasing. And I switched over to my clay strips brush to give it a little bit more volume. Go ahead and smooth some of this out. Then I'll add in just a few. I'll take. I'll uh, grab my draw sharp brush and I'll just add in a few creases into the fur to give it a bit more uh, realism. All right. So uh, this is good enough for right now, just as an example. So the next thing we want to do is give this guy a material. Now I've already got one set up right here. I've got this alpha material right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this and drag it onto my object. So now that should be applied. If I go into my shader editor, you can see exactly how this is set up. So I've got a gradient texture 
uh, with the factor plugged into the material output and then for mapping I have a uh, texture coordinate uh, set to object plugged into the vector and then I've got the uh, Y rotation set to 90 degrees and then I've got the uh, Z scale set to 3.51 if I switch over to material mode you can see exactly what this is doing so uh, as I mentioned before with alphas uh, they work off of height data, so anything that is uh, zero is going to be uh, completely black, and anything above that is going to be in shades of gray to pure white. So right now, uh, you can play. So the key, you can play around with this uh, Z depth to get like different uh, shades, depending on how strong you want your alpha to be. Uh, but yeah, I find that having it around a value of 3.51 tends to work pretty well. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, we'll go ahead and render this out. So, go over to our render properties, and I usually, I'm in Eevee, so I'll set this to something like 500. We don't need to have any other lights or anything set up right now. And then we'll go ahead and render that out. All right, and let me just switch over to my image editor and select render result. So here is my alpha. The next thing we want to do is save this out. So very important, when you save this out, you want to make sure that for one, it is set to uh, black and white, and you want to make sure the color depth is set to 16. And then compression can more or less stay the same. So I've got mine set to, I've got, I'm saving mine out as furtest01.png. So go ahead and save that. All right, now once that's saved, uh, now we can test it out and see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything and hide it. I'm going to add in a UV sphere. Shade it smooth. Add a multi-resolution modifier. Subdivide it a few times. And now we're ready for sculpting. So I'm going to go into sculpt mode. I'm going to select my Sculpt Draw Brush. I'm going to go over here to my Tools. I'm going to make a copy of this brush, and then I'm going to rename it Fur Test. And make sure Fake User is set. And then I'm going to come down here to my Texture Properties. I'm going to create a new texture. I can name this if I want, so I'm going to name it Fur, and then I'm going to go ahead and open up that alpha that I just saved. All right, so there it is. So now if I go back to my brush settings, if I come down here to texture, it should already be loaded up. We want to change the mapping to area plane. And then we uh, want to change the stroke method to anchored. And then fall off. Uh, you can play around with this, but typically I find that constant yields the best results. Come up here to strength and then turn off pen pressure. And then we can play around with the strength. I'm just going to uh, leave it at 0.5 for now and see how that works. And now we can go ahead and test out our alpha. And look at that. Our fur brush is looking pretty good. Yeah, we can uh, boost up the strength if we want. That might be a little much, so play around with the strength until you get uh, the uh, the best results. Ooh. So yeah, 
So that's how uh, you make alphas for sculpting all in Blender. I hope you found this video useful, and I will see you in the next one.